Okay. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Hello? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Give it a minute for people to start coming on. My name's Mackenzie. Um, if there are any camp people on today, you might know me as Luna. Um, but we're going to wait a couple minutes for some people to get on. So, some people are already there. If you want to tell me a little bit about yourself, your name, where you're from. Um, and since we're outside today and it's so nice, why don't you guys tell me your favorite flowers? Um, I really like daisies. They're my favorite. So, be, we'll wait a couple minutes and then we'll get started on what we're going to do today. Um, my lovely sister is here helping me film. So you might hear her voice if you guys have any questions. Um, so yeah, it's really nice out. I hope you guys are able to do this outside as well like I am. It's starting to warm up a little. So is anyone commenting yet? No, no? you have 13 people watching right oh, now. <laughs> There's a bit of a lag, so we'll give it a minute for maybe some of the comments to start coming in. Um, I wanna be able to shout out some girls who are here and watching today if I'm able. You have Wendy and Julia from San Antonio, Texas. Oh, we've got some some gals from San Antonio, Wendy and Julia. Is that I think Julia? so. And then Jasmine from Troop 301. Jasmine, Troop 301. Hello. Sheila said Wild Violets and Black Eyed Susans are her favorite. Black Eyed Susans are very pretty books. <laughs> I agree with that choice. They're very nice. Hello, and Susan. Sheila. Oh, Sheila. Oh, I was thinking of my mom and, and flower. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and Kelly said she likes sunflowers and tulips. Ooh, very good. All right, so we'll give it one more minute just to see if anyone else wants to hop on, and then we'll get started. So again, my name's Mackenzie, or if there are any camp people, you might know me as Luna. You can call me either today. I don't mind. And Anybody excited about the nice weather oh, that's happening? Pretty good. <laughs> All right. Any new comments coming in? Um, Grace from Troop 9684 from Christy, Texas. Ooh, Grace from Texas. Right. Are there, does it seem like a lot of people are on now? You have 32. 32. Okay, so we're going to get started. <laughs> so one more time. Hello. My you name have is Mackenzie. I um, work in the Dayton office. I'm a community membership support and I was camp staff for a very long time. So camp people might know me as Luna. Um, today I'm actually up in Toledo at my parents' house. Um, it's really nice outside and they have a better yard than I do at my apartment. So we today are going to do step two of the Junior Outdoor Explorer badge, which is make something. Um, and if you go back into our March videos on Facebook in the Junior section, um, Marissa from Cincinnati did steps one and five for the same badge. Um, and then all of the badge steps are in the description so that you're able to finish them on their own. So today for what we're gonna make, we're gonna make galaxy t-shirts. And I made one this morning as kind of um, an example so you can see what they might turn out to look like. So it's right here on the ground. Um, please excuse the little bits of flour that are on it. This one's pretty dry. Um, so, Lauren says hi. Hello, Lauren. <laughs> okay, so before we start dealing with all the bleach and having to put on our protective glass and our gloves, I'm gonna show you how to set up the shirt to do it. So you're gonna need two garbage bags. Um, if you're inside, you definitely want one to lay down flat. I put one on the ground just so that I can try to not get a bunch of um, paint on my dad's driveway. So you have one down on the ground and it's a little windy, so I have some rocks holding it down. And then you're gonna take your shirt and you're gonna lay it out flat. And you want a plain black shirt or any other dark color. Um, just something that'll sort of change with the bleach. So I know that like purple will turn pink if you have dark purple. Maybe blue sometimes turns a really nice orange. Um, black turns orange. Um, so yeah, you just want like a nice dark color. And then you're gonna take your second bag. You're gonna, I fold mine in half because this shirt's a little longer. 
and you're just gonna put it in between so that there's a barrier so the bleach doesn't bleed through to the back of your shirt. garbage bag. Mine are kind of small, but again, there you go. Whoop. We're going to scan this. Okay. So, to do the first step of making galaxy t-shirts, you have to mix your bleach concoction. So it's just half bleach and half water. But before you do that, you want to make sure that you put on gloves and that you have protective glasses on just in case there are any splashes. So I'm going to take off my Rio glasses. <laughs> And don't worry, I can still see. And I'll put on my little safety glasses. And they have like sides just so that there are no splashes. Flower petal on them. Okay. All right. And then I've got a pair of gloves. Kelly said, Go, Luna. Woo! What's up, Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, and then we have our gloves on. And now what you need is a spray bottle which i have here it doesn't have to be this big and i'm definitely not going to be filling it up all the way because you don't need a lot of bleach to do this i'm going to set it there and i have a funnel just so that it can go in easier and then my bleach and if you have parents and you want them to help you with that that's perfectly fine um, so you're just gonna hold your funnel and it's slowly like I said, you don't need a lot. You just want enough that you're able to get like the bottom of the squeeze bottle to sit in the bleach. Julie said, woo, Luna. <laughs> so that's probably more than enough bleach. I'm not gonna use all of that, but I can always make more shirts later if I want. And then this is just a cup of water and you want equal amounts water to bleach so that it's half and half. So if you wanna like mark your bottle beforehand so that you know where like the half and half is that's perfectly fine i just eyeball it all right and you make sure your bottle is on tight and i had to play around with mine earlier today was it working okay so you're gonna make sure that your bottle is open and then you're gonna start spraying so i sort of like to get close to the shirt but not hovering and i do lines so if i start in the corner i want to make sure again that my shirt is flat and i'm just gonna oops out of line so i'm just gonna spray make sure that it's like a little bit of um a spritz and not a straight line so that it spans out a little more and then i start at corners and i just sort of spray a line down um Sometimes I'll go over it twice, but it takes about five minutes for the bleach to fully set in. So you can see that it's already starting to change color. So that happens pretty quickly, um, but you still want to let it sit for like five minutes just to make sure that it sets in all the way. So do a little bit more. And sometimes I'll just add little spots in random little places because, um, you know, galaxies, they're not uniform. They like to do what they want to do. So just sort of do one of those. Maybe add a little bit right there in the corner. All right, so we're gonna let that sit. And while that sits, and we let it soak, we're gonna get our paint ready. Terry says she loves space. Space is awesome. Does anybody have um, like a favorite planet in space. I know that I really like Jupiter just because when I was younger, I loved to say the word Jupiter. So <laughs> it has stuck with me since then. I don't really know why. So again, we have to let it sit about probably four, four more minutes. And while it's sitting and waiting, we can get our paint ready. So um, the other things that you need for this, and I'm gonna take off these gloves for a minute since they're covered in bleach and I don't wanna touch my paint with bleach. Um, we have a plate, we have colors, you can use any colors, but you do at least need white because that's going to be our stars. Um, but I have some blue, I have like two different kinds of pink, and then I have a purple. 
and then I have I just have a bowl of water but you can also have a spray bottle of just water to do the um, spraying but I just sort of drip it down because I only had one spray bottle and then you need a baggie just a grocery bag um, you can have two or one I just reuse the same one by flipping it inside out and I can show you that later and then I have a paintbrush to make my stars so I start out with putting all my colors but white out because I don't want my white to get mixed in quite yet and I just pick spots on my plate plate um, put about a nice little pile I like um, this coral color more because it kind of blends in with the bleach really well um, so that's one that I use more of than the other colors and the pink just a little bit and then some blue Kelly says she loves Mercury. Mercury's a good one. It's a good planet. Amy wants to know what kind of paint do you use? I use acrylic paint just because I don't have any fabric paint here. Um, and acrylic paint stays on clothes. So um, it's a good substitute for fabric paint. But using fabric paint, it's the same thing if you have that instead. I just use acrylic because that's all I ever use really so there I'm out of purple okay if you get some paint on your hands that's okay it's all part of the art process all right okay so we'll give it maybe one more minute for okay. um, <laughs> for our shirt to go and then if you look at it you can see it's lightened up a whole bunch and you have these sort of lines and if you want to add more splotches, like I probably could have added some here if I wanted and maybe some here, you're totally okay to do that. Um, I just don't want that many. I, I like a little bit more black on my Galaxy t-shirts opposed to having a bunch of um, paint and bleach on it. I don't know. I just, it looks better to me that way, but you can do it however you want. Okay. So I have another pair of gloves. And you want to make sure that you're putting gloves on again when you start to paint because if you're like me, you have a tendency to like lean on what you're doing and there's still bleach on the shirt. So you want to make sure that you're covered up and protected and you want to keep your glasses on because when you make your stars, you're going to fling some paint. So you want to make sure it's not coming back at your face. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring our paint over. And we have our bag and it's just crumbled up into a ball like this and when you're doing the paint portions you always want your darker paint on the bottom and then work your way up to your lighter paint so i'm going to start with my purple i don't have a bunch of it but you're just going to get some on like this and you're going to go to like the edges of where your bleach is and you're just going to start like pressing down dabbing it in like this so you can see it and don't worry if it doesn't look like there isn't a lot of paint um, because you're going to use water and sort of mix it all together so it'll be all right and the good thing about using a paper bag is when you press it onto the um, shirt it comes off pretty well so then you're able to like pick another color and it doesn't mix that much. So now I have pink because it's a pretty dark pink and I'm just gonna sort of intermix, put it down. Oh, there's some weight in there, that's okay. And you just sort of dab it wherever you want to. I'll put some on the sleeve there, maybe here. And then if you run out of color on your plate and you want some more, feel free to grab some because I might want a little bit more pink later. And then I'm going to do some blue, maybe here. And it's a really nice bright blue. Sheila said she missed what you said about paint, paint. what you're using. Oh, I'm using acrylic paint, but you can use fabric paint too. They both work really well. I just don't have any fabric paint at my parents house so acrylic paint is what i'm using and they do about the same thing they'll both work the same the only difference is is if you use um fabric paint you have to let it sit on the shirt a little bit longer 
before you can wash it. Um, and then you just follow the directions of washing fabric painted stuff. And then acrylic paint um, dries so you don't have to let it sit as long. Alright, so now we're going to go to the nice coral and we're just going to... And you just layer it on top of each other so that your colors are going to kind of mix together. Um, because that's what we're going to do in a minute. So does anyone want to share what kind of colors that they're going to use on their shirts? You can use any color you want, really. I wanted to use yellow, but I couldn't find any. Yeah. So then you just want to make sure you have paint sort of everywhere. Any little gold spots. Alright. So then after you have all of those colors, sorry. I live on a busy road. So after <laughs> you do all of those colors, you want to get your white paint. Just put it on your plate. That's okay if it mixes a little bit. Um, and just try to find like a little empty spot if you want, or you can mix them, crumple it up again. And you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to put some white over where everything is. And it doesn't have to be that much. You just want a little bit of white over it. Like that. Boom, 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 boom. Like that. So that's what it's going to look like. Probably looks a little weird right now. That's all right. Okay, so then afterwards, if you're just using the same bag, what I do before I do the water part is I uncrumple it and then I twist it inside out so that all the paint's on the inside and I re-crumple it back up. And then if you have your spray bottle, you're going to spray along the lines of your paint just to get it wet so that it can mix together better. Since I don't have a spray bottle, I'm just going to cut my fingers and it's just a little bit and you're just going to sort of follow the lines of the paint. And then you're going to take your bag and you're just going to start um, sort of mixing it together like so. It might be a little more difficult on the seams, but all you're going to do is you're just going to rub it together towards the bleach and then outward so that it goes a little bit into the black. Try to do it left handed over here. So you're just going to... And if it's not mixing well in one spot, just add a little bit more water. Sheila gonna... said her girls are using colors used in nebula space items. Ooh, and that's Sarah, like awesome. And Sarah Kelly said it looks awesome. Thank you, Sarah Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just add some more. And then you just, ooh, that's a big splotch. So if you have like a bigger splotch of paint, you can always, I don't know what that is. It's being weird. Might be a piece of hair. That's okay cat hair. Right. I have love having cats. Many cats here. So you're Erica just gonna. said it's awesome. Thank you. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. And if you're not doing it right now and then you do it later, that's okay too. But you just sort of, so you see how it's, you know, coming out like this and you have little bits of it. So that's kind of the effect you want to get. And this Sarah part. said this is rad. Thank you. <laughs> so this part takes a little bit longer just because you're trying to mix it all together. You wanna get it like that. I'm trying to put my arm so that you guys can see it, but I'm right-handed, so it's a little more difficult. Here, I can come up here. I see you also not looking at my back. If you guys can see that, I need some more water. All right, so you just add some. And you can also do it where you just put water on one section at a time. Um, Cause especially if you're doing it outside in the sun, um, it'll dry pretty quickly. Kelly said her daughter Maggie said that is really cool. Thank you. I hope 
that you all enjoy doing this too and I know that they're all gonna turn out looking awesome so when you do do them if you get the time please post a picture so that I can see all of your beautiful t-shirts um, you move so that you can see it and then I started using my other hand all right well man sorry <laughs> all right so again you're just gonna try to mix them together like this so that it's like smeared paint you can use any system that you want um, the bag is really helpful though just because it like you're able to rub it really well okay so then if you want to come over here so they can see it in the Sun oh my God. okay so this is what it looks like after you do that and um, if you want to add like any more paint see if you have like these little like bigger spaces in between the bleach and the black you can do that I think I'm gonna leave it like this because I think it looks really cool so then the last thing you do and you might want to test this out um, before you do it on a piece of paper um, so in the description it says use a toothbrush I don't have any um, like new toothbrushes yet I have to go to get some so I only have the one that I'm currently using so I'm just using a paintbrush and what you do is you gather some paint and it doesn't have to be a lot. And the best way I have found to do this is the part you put the paint on, you're gonna keep facing up and then you're gonna use your finger, pull it up and you're gonna flick it down. And you want it fairly close to the thing. It's like sticking to my glove, so that's fun. Um, I'm gonna take my glove off of this because it's not blinging properly. It might be easier on a toothbrush, but you're just gonna like that and you can see it takes a minute you want to get really close to it and you just sort of scatter your stars around and you can move your brush this way and that to sort of get the paint off of it and you can put as many or as little stars on it as you want you see them some of them are big like that some of them tend to be like really small like all the other ones and you just sort of want to try to aim at the spots where you want stars. So you get it pretty close, like my finger is. And then boom, like that. Maybe add some up here in this corner. The wind's going. So we're just gonna, and you just fling it pretty quickly, get it going. And then once you sort of have your system, it goes a lot quicker. But I definitely um, recommend practicing on a piece of paper. Amy said so this will probably be everybody's favorite part. I know, it is the best <laughs> part. In my opinion, it is. Um, so, see how it's sort of flinging everywhere. So once you get it going, maybe just one more, some up here. All right, so that's gonna be where I end my Galaxy t-shirt. Now I've painted all over my fingers. I'll swipe them on this bag. All right, so that is how you make them. Um, how you clean them is pretty simple. May I use your hands, please? Okay, so to clean them, if you are using fabric paint, you have to wait 72 hours, keep it laid flat, um, and then after that 72 hours, you just follow the directions on how to clean fabric paint clothes. Um, that's on the fabric paint bottle. If you're using acrylic paint, I usually let it sit 24 to 48 hours until it's completely dry. And then I always, always, no matter what type of paint you're using, wash it by itself. Um, just a regular wash cycle, dry it, and then you should be A-OK -okay to wear it. Um, for the first couple of washes, it might still smell like bleach because just because bleach has a really strong smell, it's still totally OK to wear. But that is how you make Galaxy t-shirts. And this is our end result. Um, and I'll try to post a picture of mine as well. Um, I'm gonna take off my safety glasses and put my real glasses on just so that I can see a little bit better. Um, so again, today, because that's all I have for you today, we worked on um, the Junior Outdoor Art Experience. Tara said, you're awesome.
Um, so we worked on step two of the Junior Outdoor Art Adventure or Explorer badge, and that was to make something. And Marissa, a couple of weeks ago in March, did steps one and five. So you can go onto our Girl Scouts of Western Ohio Facebook page into the videos junior section, and you will find and then you'll just have to do steps three and four and you'll have done the whole badge. Um, if you are not a Girl Scout and you enjoyed this video today, please, please, please go to girlscouts.org slash join and you can learn how to become a member. Um, and then later today, if you wanna tune into our 2 p.m. video, Caitlin is going to teach the cadets babysitters badge. So it's gonna be a good, good time. So again, I had so much fun doing this with you guys today. I really, really hope that you can post some pictures so I can see what you did. And then I'll go through the comments if you guys have any questions or anything like that. <clears throat> um, or if you get a quick one in right now, I can try to answer it. But thank you so much for joining in. I hope you really enjoyed this. Um, Lily said it's really laggy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's laggy, I'm outside. Um, but yeah, so that's all I've got for today. I'll be sure to go check, make sure you guys have any questions. And again, I super, super hope that you guys are able to post some pictures so that I can see them. Um, Cause this is one of my favorite activities to do. So I will see you guys sometime, but thank you. Bye.